Hello everyone, this is Andre and I am a licensed loan officer in Fresno, California. And today we'll be talking about an earnest money deposit. So what is an earnest money deposit? Let's find out. In a real estate transaction, the earnest money deposit is a sum of money provided by the buyer to demonstrate their sincere interest in purchasing a property. It's typically submitted along with offer to purchase and is held in an escrow account until the deal is closed. The purpose of an uh, earnest money deposit is to show the seller that the buyer is serious about uh, the purchase. It acts as a financial commitment ensuring that the buyer will not back out of the deal without a valid reason. Now, you might wonder, how much should you offer as an earnest money deposit? Well, there is no fixed amount. It can vary depending on various factors such as local market practices, property value, and negotiations between the seller and the buyer. However, it's usually a percentage of the purchase price, typically ranging from 1 to 5%. It is important to note that the earnest money deposit is not an additional cost on top of the down payment and closing cost. Instead, it forms part of your down payment when the transaction is finalized. Once the earnest money deposit is submitted, it's held at an escrow account managed by a third-party company. It could be an escrow company, it could be a title company, or a real estate brokerage. This neutral party ensures the safekeeping of the funds until the closing of the transaction. Now, what happens to the earnest money if the deal falls through? That's a good question. If the buyer fulfills all the contingencies and the sale proceeds as planned, the earnest money deposit is typically applied towards the down payment and closing costs. However, if the buyer decides to cancel the purchase, uh, for a valid reason, as stated in the contract, such as failed inspection or an issue with financing, the earnest money deposit is usually returned back to the buyer. On the other hand, if the buyer terminates the agreement without a valid reason or fails to fulfill their obligation, the seller may be entitled to keep the earnest money as compensation for the time and opportunity lost during this transaction. It is crucial to carefully review the terms and conditions regarding the earnest money deposit in your purchase agreement. Make sure you understand the contingencies, timelines, and the circumstances under which the earnest money may be forfeited. In summary, an earnest money deposit is a financial commitment made by the buyer to the seller demonstrating their serious intent to purchase a property. It is held in an escrow until the transaction is completed. If all goes well, the earnest money is applied towards the down payment, and if the deal falls through for a valid reason, it's usually returned to the buyer. That uh, wraps up our discussion on earnest money deposit in the real estate transaction. I hope you found this information helpful. Remember, it is always essential to consult with a real estate professional or a mortgage professional uh, for specific guidance in your area and in your situation. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to contact me with any questions, and I'll see you next time on our mortgage education series.